right, peace, peace. Yo, I may do two blogs today because I got a nice long ride. I don't think I'm going to do a long blog. I'm going to probably do two two blogs. Um, but the first blog is the, yo, know, the need for, what was that? I just, I just blocked out, right? Um, but today's blog is really based on the need or the reason why I have put together this LitCon. You know, as much as, you know, it is my convention or things that I'm trying to do, it is not just for me. And it's, it's something that isn't just a business idea. It's, just, it's not just an event. It's not just a party for me. It comes out of a real burning desire um, to, you know, address certain things in the industry. You know, um, this industry of science fiction, this industry of entertainment. Um, and, and that is, uh, and, it, and it comes, it, every once in a while, it pops right back up again. And I have to tell somebody, or I remind myself, damn, this is why I wanted to, to do LitCon. And this is, you know, how I came up with the idea. So we were talking about, um, somebody posted a picture of um, uh, the get down. And was like, damn, I'm so sorry that the get down isn't on TV anymore, and I really like to get down myself, you know, being from New York, um, um, New York area, born in the Bronx, raised in New Jersey, teenage New Jersey, heart and soul, but um, always going back to, my babysitter was in Harlem, you know, my family, my close cousins was in Harlem, so I got hardcore friends <laughs> that think I'm more from Harlem than even from Jersey, you know, um, all of that, I'm in the hip hop world. I'm born in 67. And so for me, um, I was like 10 years old, not even 10, I don't know, like six or seven when, you know, hip hop started making its headway, you know, 74, 73, 76, you know, when, you know, we started seeing break dance moves and stuff like that pop up around the Bronx. Shout out to my man Sean Lund and, and his, his cousins in the Bronx. We used to learn these early breakdance moves that look really stupid, you know, when we did them, but they probably, they were real exciting when we saw the people doing them in the streets in New York. And it was like, wow, you know. Um, we couldn't, we didn't even know how to redo them to show people in Jersey what we had seen when we went over there, you know. Um, but, uh, I was like, you know, I like to get down, but who said it had to end? You know, um, the reason why I'm doing LitCon is because the, what I like about the get down, oh, of course, I love the visuals, you know, the actors, they brought a lot of emotion to it. The girls, look, the girl looked good. The Shaolin Fantastic was a good dancer, no doubt, you know, and I love hearing the rhymes. And of course, the soundtrack was off the charts, but the core of it, was a story. The core of it was why it's called the get down. The core of it was the drama which was which stemmed from the telling of the story. And and I like that. And so we may not be able to continue the film because those things certainly require a bigger budget than, you know, that's the reason why it got canceled. It didn't get canceled because of the um um, a viewership, it got canceled because of the um, the budget, you know, and it just became an expensive film, I guess, TV show, you know, film and TV shows do that all the time, you know, they, they don't make movies, sequels, if this, the original didn't make so much money on the first weekend, you know, and I understand it's, it's a high, it costs a lot of money to make a movie, especially science fiction, especially special effects and all of that, however, it costs the same amount of money to write a dramatical scene with somebody crying as it is to write a scene where a building collapses, a spaceship flies across the planet, um, somebody shoots webs, or the edge of the earth falls. Those letters on those papers are the same price. The same price it costs to... to um, draw somebody walking across the street 
well, probably a busy street, but it's the same price it costs to draw a spaceship flying across the galaxy through a nebula, whatever the heck it is. So what happens is you have a good brand like to get out, to get down, excuse me, to get down, and then you can put it in a novel. You can continue it, write a sequel, backstory, a whole lot of things, you know, or you could do a comic book. Everything in comic books aren't superhero stories. There's plenty of graphic novels. There's plenty of horror stories. There's, you know, X-Files. Um, 24 had one. 007 has a comic book. Are you kidding me? And you tell me these stories um, that we see on, on TV could not have a book, could not have a, a, a graphic novel? Are you kidding me? You know, so I think we're shooting ourselves short. Um, good example is um, we're shooting ourselves short for not continuing these stories. Um, also, there's another side of, 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 of tie-in media, tie-in novels, tie-in comic books. Um, and that is demonstrated through something, say, um, uh, Star Wars or even Halo. And Halo is probably not the best example because it hasn't happened yet. But um, through Star Wars... You know, they, 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 they were finished with Star Wars after the first three films. After Return of the Jedi, um, they were fin. I mean, um, yeah, Return of the Jedi, um, they were finished, you know. Um, there wasn't even um, um, plans to do another one. They were done, you know. And if it wasn't for um, the tie-in novels, um, shout out to Timothy Zahn, um, who wrote um, the Thrawn character, which bridged it into an expanded universe. You know, you got to see more than just, you know, the few planets that you saw in Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and, um, and The Return of the Jedi. And then, you know, you had comic books that never stopped, but the books kept going. After Timothy Don uh, wrote his uh, book, Heir to the Empire, the, 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 the book brand, they have over a hundred something books. The books got so popular that they said, you know what, there's an audience to do a movie, right? How about that? The comic books were out there. So that movie came, and then they ended up doing another cartoon, and then they did the Clone Wars. Whoa, what happened to me? They did the Clone Wars, and, and it picked up. But you think about all of the other shows that we could have had and can still have continued. I would love to... Um, uh, see a um, continuation of 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 uh, Spook Who Sat by the Door, you know, or um, just an anthology, and and that even started as a book. So there's no reason why that shouldn't continue. But except for the writer, he probably didn't write another story. But shoot, now you know we could do Inspired by. I know there's some licensing that we could work on. I mean, and it really is you know tie-in media is all licensing in the first place. Same way you make a toy is the same way you license it to write a story, to write a um, a comic book, to write a, a novel to it. So. Um, when we think of something like the get down, my other one is Boys in the Hood. I know it's a hood story, but you can have spinoffs. You don't have to have the same exact story. You can take those characters and do, you know, um, an attack the block version of Boys in the Hood, where aliens drop out of the sky in Compton. Ricky's still alive, and you enjoy that, you know, retelling of it. They do that in comic books with um, Star Trek. Star Trek has one now where they go back and forth and, um, you know, Star Trek meets the Planet of the Apes. And that has really been funny, but it's been enjoyable. Then you got horror movies, Friday the 13th. As small as you think that brand is, it's one of the biggest horror movie brands. It may not be as big as Star Wars um, because it's killing and it's not necessarily children friendly, but adults love it. I mean, that hockey mask sells like a Darth Vader helmet. You know what I'm saying? Sells like a lifesaver. And and um, nothing really comes from toys, per se, but for, for movies, they can be inspired from uh, books and comic books. And we should have all of that. I like Slight. But if Slight doesn't continue in the film, then it should continue in a novel. We should read more Slight. You know, they came out with a Black Panther follow-up 
finally, and it was really, really cool. I have it. It's gonna, I'm going to be reading it soon. I got two books ahead of it. But yes, you know, um, th that's a good look. Definitely. Good look. Continue those brands. Serenity, one of my favorite movies. They just got renewed for a comic book to keep things going on. You know, I, I'm, I'm indifferent about it because I really want to see the continuation of the story. And sometimes they follow characters that I ain't too, you know, uh, too familiar with. I really like the villain in, in the, um, Serenity, and I know that they're not really following him anymore. If they did a comic book on him, that would be hot. You know, like an origin story. Maybe I should pitch that because I would really like that. Um, but what else? What else? Um, she's, oh, we talk about New York Undercover and The Wire are crime stories. Those would make hot comic books, graphic novels, or novels themselves. You know what I'm saying? CSI has a comic book. And I know New York Undercover is going to explore CSI. They're going to explore Law and Order type storylines. Sheesh, all of that stuff. So, you know, Michael B. Jordan, he has um, his movie that just came out September last year, 2018, Ken. Well, if they don't do another movie, I want to see the sequel of Ken. I want them to finish that story. So they need to finish it somewhere. And even if they do it in a book, doesn't mean a movie um, sequel is out of, out of line. So anyway, um, I want to raise that discussion for um, the community, for the um, for the, the genre, for the entertainment, whatever you want to call it, because I think it's really cool for us to think on that lines. And that's why I have my convention. My goal is always to write, um, you know, a, a, a brand's story. I'm sure I have my own brands, no doubt, too many of them possibly. But um, I would love to write in, in another sandbox. I would like to write a Star Wars story. I would like to write, the, you know, a backstory to to Mace Windu or pick another character of color and just write, you know, there's got to be a black planet. There's got to be a blacker planet within the universe. I would love to write that storyline. Um, I have a real story on it, you know, but I would like to write a Killmonger novel, a Luke Cage novel. Um, those things, you know, sticking in my lane of, of writing novels, but I have comic book ideas as well so some of those things you know I'm going to do them for my own characters you know but I would love to continue them for other people and I would love for our stories and stories as a as a writer I'm a fan as much as I'm a writer I read as much as I write probably even read more because there's more for me to read but um I like to see those things just as much as everybody else does. So it's not, you know, it's not um, from hate. Of course, you know, I want my stuff to get out there. But just because somebody else's stuff is out there doesn't mean my stuff won't get out there. And I certainly don't expect mine to be the only one. So I want us all to make it. So I want all of these brands that I mentioned and others that pop up to continue. You understand? Um... If they're not going to make a Get Out sequel, then I'll, you know, I would love to write one when we go back and shoot up all the other people that is putting people in the sunken place. Revenge or Get Out. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, that's that. That's why I'm doing LitCon. I want to get filmmakers in the same room as illustrators. Illustrators in the same room as, as novelists, both science fiction and urban fiction, and just see what happens. See if we can talk. Maybe there's some graphic uh, um, game designers that stop in. You understand? So that's really all it is all about. All right. Talk to you later. Peace.